guys, it's Jordy here for Cinecime.net and welcome back to another Copycat Friday, the weekly series in which we try to recreate visual effects. And today we were inspired by the curly kit life. You know, he makes these very fun effect skits on Instagram, we'll leave a link to it in the description down below. And in one of his recent videos, he was trying to iron a pants, but he failed at it because the pants came to life and ran away. Now we figured out how he did it, so let's grab our irons, guys, and let us show you how he did it. Like you guys know, we love editing magic. We love Sai King, we love Kevin Perry, we love them all. And what we also love is building sets. So let's do this. Here we see a visual effects artist away from his natural habitat, the office chair. This species is called Yannick. He only comes out to film copycat sketches. Afterwards, he retreats back to his lair. Now, while Janik is lost in the jungle, I'd like to take a moment to thank Storyblocks today's sponsor. Storyblocks is an ever-growing library packed with tons of video assets. For instance, we just downloaded this Camera Shake preset pack, which allows us to create a camera shake on the effect that we're going to create later on. You see, it's shot on a tripod, so it's very static. So it's very good to kind of add this fake camera handheld motion to it later on, and this pack is helping us with that. Now, that is just one of the millions of video assets that you can find on Storyblocks. Apart Apart from After Effects or Premiere Pro presets, there are also tons of templates. There are collections where you can find multiple stock clips of the same theme. And it doesn't stop there, guys. There are tons of overlay effects, there are backgrounds, there are visuals, there are 2D animations, and so much more. And one last thing that I find super amazing about Storyblocks is that they have been putting so much effort into bringing more diversity to their platform. They've launched Restock, which focuses to bringing more cultures to their platform, so you can always find the right stock clip for your needs. So go check it out, guys. You can download unlimited video assets for just one single price per year. There are no extra fees, so that is why I can highly recommend it. You can click the first link in the description down below to learn all about it. And now, let's go back to the studio, because we've got some ironing to do. To do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. Guys, Janik ripped my pants. This is not funny. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> no, seriously, guys. This is the new Cinecom merch. Check it out. Link in the description down below. You know, this was cool back in the day. You know, a long time ago. Right now, we rip our pants like this on the back. It's much better. Oh, my eyes! My eyes! What team are you know, some people dream of not wearing pants at work. I'm living the dream. We're living the nightmare. <laughs> Once your set is finished, the real work can start. We'll be shooting everything on a tripod to make it ourselves way easier in post-production. Of course, don't stop recording until you have all your four shots. For the first shot, we'll make sure our talent grabs the pants and throws it over the ironing board. Really important here is that the legs of the pants are fairly straight. Otherwise, she'll struggle with matching them up later on in post-production. Then when the pants is on the ironing board, your talent can just act the scene out. And then it's time for shot two. Here we'll be removing the ironing board and replacing it with something sturdy and also make 
sure it is the same height as the ironing board right here. On this, our talent, which will be acting like a living pants, will sit, jump off, and then finally run off in the distance. Important here is that you tuck your shirt in your pants, and also that the contrast between the shirt and the pants is big enough, because this will make it way easier when rotoscoping in post-production. And of course, do the same with your socks and your pants. In our case, Jordi removed his socks. Also, when doing this, make sure your talent holds the cutout pants right in front of him. So when he starts moving around, both pants will have the same rotation and perspective. Then for the third shot, you'll want to take the legs of the pants and open them up so that they are visible for the camera. This will use later on to paint in the back of the legs back in. And then the fourth and final shot, you can move everything out of the way and finally take your empty shot. We have all the shots that we need and Jordi is finally back to wearing pants. Finally. So that means it's time to create some editing magic. Of course, like always, the first step is adding our original clip to the composition. Next, we're also going to add the empty shot to the timeline, and this we are going to use to remove the shadows on the wall, and also the pants laying on the ironing board. So on a random point where we have this empty ironing board and the wall, we are going to freeze frame the empty clip. Then we simply draw a mask over the part we want to remove. And now we have a wall without shadows and an empty ironing board. However, we're also cutting into our talent and the pants he is holding. Not really what we want. So let's bring them back. We created the duplicate of our original talent clip and placed that layer on top of everything. Now we are going to shorten the clip a bit, showing only where our talent is behind the previous mask. Then we can simply rotoscope our talent and the pants to single them out. And voila, they are back. Next, let's bring in our living pants, and this is our shot where our talent is wearing the pants, jumps down, and runs away. So again, we place it in our composition, and of course, sync the timing of both pants. And now it's time for some rotoscoping. This time, we're going to single out the pants. We don't want anything else from that clip, only the pants. And try to be as precise as possible when rotoscoping. Now, if you want to learn more about how to rotoscope like a pro, definitely check out our in-depth tutorial about it. Link in the description down below. So once we rotoscope the pants for the entire length of the clip, we can pre-compose the rotor clip and start with matching the movement of both pants. And we want to match everything in midair. This way we can use the motion blur of our original pants to hide the transition to our second living pants. First step is using the position to place pants 2 over pants 1. Also enable the animation for this property, then over time adjust the position to place the pants on the ironing board, giving it the same falling motion as our original pants. The second step is going to be a little bit harder. We are going to use the puppet pin tool to match the shape of both pants in the beginning of our transition. So we created a whole bunch of puppet pins on our living pants and dragged them around to match the shapes. Then we again went further in time and on the moment the living pants hits the ironing board, we did a reset for the puppet pin effect, making the pants go back to normal. However, we are seeing this weird line in our effect, but don't worry, we can easily fix this. Within the puppet pin effect, we can increase the mesh expansion a bunch, removing the line. Next up, let's add some motion blur and we used the directional blur for this. We animated it to fade out once the pants are hitting the ironing board. And voila, our pants transition is complete. Or almost at least. It can be that you're still seeing pants number one under pants number two, but we can easily solve this with a mask on our pants number one clip. This is actually the first clip we rotoscoped and the clip of our talent throwing the pants. We simply pre comp that layer and masked away the part that is hindering our transition. And now for some last details. Bringing back the inside of the pants and legs. We made our talent with the living pants whole hold up this cutout part of the inside. With doing this, we don't have to sync the movement of the inside part and the actual pants to match. So again, we place the living pants clip in our comp and under our rotoscope living pants layer. Then we again rotoscoped it, but this time we only rotate the pants inside part. Then we manually animated it to follow along with the living pants. And it's simple as that. Maybe use some masks to clean it all up and that's it. Of course, do exactly the same for the pants leg and bring back the inside of them. And something we really can't forget is the shadows. Bring it back on the ironing board and on the floor and voila real life editing magic and that's how you can make your pants run away just like the curly kit life Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. Definitely make sure to check out the library. Link in the description down below. And as always, stay creative. None of this Very proper, as we say in Flemish. Otherwise, you'll... Other, otherwise. Otherwise, you'll... Otherwise... Is there another word for other, otherwise? Now, what if it's... Oh, mannequins.
you can see him ironing a pants. Ironing, ironing a pants. Oh, what is it? 